my name is Norman Holland. I'm an editor, a writer, I blog, and I teach here at the University of Southern California School of Cinematic Arts, where I run the editing department. You can't think of one or two screens as your end product anymore. What I tell my students is, if you believe that the major end product is a theatrical film or network television, then you are already unemployed today. I think that the exciting thing about what's happening in the media right now is the ability to create something and have it be seen in so many different places, on the web, in gas stations, uh, on, on people's mobile devices. And if you're cool with that, then you've got an amazing future. You are going to be able to make media that lots of people will see. When I look back at my experience in the film industry as well as film history in general, it's always been an industry that's changed. Uh, it started in black and white silent. It moved into sound film, then moved into color film, and moved to stereo, and uh, now we're actually looking at stereoscopic 3D. It's an industry that's always looking for the next great thing. So I think this industry is all about change. The change has accelerated tremendously from a technological side in the last 10 years. Uh, especially in the last five or seven since I've been here at SC with the growth of web-based media, uh, the uh, increase in digital editing, digital sound, and digital capture. Uh, just even three years ago, a low-budget film could not have shot on some of the camera equipment at the price that it's sold for right now. And so it's really opened up the world to a democratization of the filmmaking process. One of the exciting things for me is how media isn't necessarily frozen in time anymore. I think that you can create interactive works that change over the course of time. By the same token, um, the idea of mashups and remixes where you can collaborate uh, across individual pieces of media is so exciting in terms of uh, a future way of audiences to be invested in films. I love the idea that a lot of filmmakers are, are putting their work in creative commons now, uh, keeping things open for reuse by other people, re-editing, remixing, creating whole different ways of looking at their original media. I've been fortunate to be involved in one or two distance collaboration things that people from all over the world get to put media up, get feedback, and get to interact with other people to create better media than they would have by themselves. Uh, I think that that's going to get bigger and bigger, and we've seen evidence of that in music videos across the world, reaching out across the world to grab better ideas. Because of the decrease of the cost of making movies today with the digital technology. This democratization of the media has meant that the students who we get come with far greater technological skills than they ever had, some of which is incredibly helpful when they get here. What our students really need is the ability to learn how to collaborate with people in greater numbers than they had before and how to establish a storytelling language that can facilitate that. They come to the school having made a lot of movies themselves where they did everything. They directed, they shot, they edited, they may have written the music, they may have acted in it. Uh, and so they could keep their vision up in here and not have to explain it, uh, not have to describe it in lots of ways to collaborators. Now they have to. That's one of the big things that we find we can teach here, how to work with other people collaboratively. As an example, you can tell your editor, cut on this frame, but the editor doesn't understand why that frame is opposed to any other one. But if you say, I'm looking to have the character happy here, then the editor knows how to collaborate with you. And that language is something that they haven't developed yet in general. Um, our students need to be comfortable with the pace at which things change. We can't teach today's technology because in five years that will be gone. We need to 
be able to teach them is how to tell effective stories using images and to be comfortable with how the technology is changing every single year. My job here at the school has changed, if not drastically, at least in terms of how I look at things. Something which is uh, getting more and more true as the cameras get cheaper, as the editing equipment gets cheaper, is more of our filmmakers have to do more things. So they can work on multiple films simultaneously. Instead of just being an editor, you also have to know color correction, you have to know sound. Maybe you're shooting as well. So we have to be future-proofing our students so they understand how to tell stories across the multiple different technologies and have, um, and have enough familiarity with what each system does so they're not afraid when it evolves to the next step, that they understand I have a story, needs to tell A, B, and C. I'm familiar enough with this part of it. Uh, so, hey, the system's new now, but I'm not afraid of it. So we want to future-proof both the school as well as our students. I think that when we look back on today, we'll be excited with the new possibilities for how to tell stories globally and work with people globally that we never used to be able to do or was too expensive to do at, the, at a lot of the levels that I like to work. And hopefully in 10 years, this is going to be so easy to do that I wonder why no one ever did it before.